all right so we got a full workout for you guys here we're kicking things off with the squat you guys always ask me how i warm up so i made to made sure to record that this time so this is 135 for six then i go into 185 for four 225 for a couple reps and i didn't film one of the warm-up sets but typically for squats and deadlifts i do four warm-up sets just slowly ramping up to the heavy set so today i went for a personal record of 315 so i tried to get 315 for six and uh yeah so i'm still training just twice per week making really really good fucking progress twice twice per week training is best for most people man most people just don't comprehend the fact that twice per week training can be extremely extremely effective but you know the people who do try it who do give it a shot end up getting really really good results the people who are open-minded because you know the fitness industry is full of shit so for warm-up sets slowly ramping up you never want to sap yourself with your warm-ups man too many people warm up so much and by the time they hit their wor their working sets they're already fatigued there's no point in doing that man you're just going to be fried you're not going to hit any personal records so you guys will see this fucking personal record just flew man just absolutely flew so a nice 315 and my squat has just been linearly progressing five pounds per workout literally and that's the beautiful thing about training just twice per week man my recovery is just absolutely insane it's just insane every time i step in the gym i know i'm gonna crush a personal record there's no fucking around like it's pure laser focus just a couple sets and you know just do one heavy set for pretty much all the compounds all the big key lifts just one heavy set followed by one back off set max intensity So I dropped the weight down to 265 and went for 12 reps. So guys, the squat is the most fucking important exercise you could be doing in the gym, okay? It's not just a leg exercise. This is called the growing exercise. It's gonna grow your entire body, okay? Do not skip out on squats. You must train your squats fucking hard and with progression, you must always be focused on grinding the squat, getting stronger at it, okay? No exercise is gonna give you better results, a better return on your investment than the barbell squat. So if, if, if I had to argue there's one exercise that was absolutely necessary for you to do, it would be the squat, okay? So the squat is a key, key exercise in my program and it should be in yours as well. So it's absolutely a fantastic, fantastic muscle and strength building exercise. That's gonna create a complete anabolic effect throughout your entire body and grow your body as a whole. So prioritize the squat, fucking rever the squat, get stronger at it, train it really hard. So I rested about five minutes, just let myself recover from those squats, and then I went into some incline bench. So for the past year, I've been doing flat bench. So recently, I just made the switch over to incline, so I'm gonna start working on this one for a while. So I'm still finding my groove. So this is 215 for six. So same thing, first set, six to eight, second set, 10 to 12. Full rest periods, three to five minutes between sets, and dropping the weight about 10 to 15%. So that was a good set. I hit a nice little personal record, added a two and a half pounds to that first set and then this is 190 so i went for 190 and i got 10 reps here so this was a really really good set here so on my other workout since i'm just training twice per week what i do is that you know monday i'll train this workout and then you know every i'm pretty much training every four to five days so on on like friday or even saturday i'll train the other workout which is you know more deadlift overhead press and row focus with a couple of isolation movements and that's it, man. That's all she wrote. It's super simple. So now I went into some weighted chin-ups. These did not go as well as I wanted them to, so they didn't have the uh, the plain supinated grip that I'm used to, so I had to do this little weird grip. It wasn't bad, but I didn't hit a personal record here. So this is 90 pounds. Should have got six reps, but I only ended up getting five. So uh, it didn't go as well. I also couldn't use chalk on this, so that was kind of shitty. Fucked me a little bit, but... Then, so obviously, same thing, rested four minutes, dropped the weight down to 50 pounds, and so this is 50 pounds attached for eight reps. Should have gotten 10 here, so once again, I got fucked up by the, by the setup. But you know, you win some, you lose some, man. You can't, you can't, you can't progress every workout, you know? So, it's two sets per exercise here. Really, really, really simple shit, man. Just constantly focused on hitting personal records, getting stronger.
So then I didn't feel like my upper body pushing structure was hit well enough with just the incline bench because I feel like I kind of left a little bit in the tank and I'm still getting used to incline so I didn't hit it as hard as I could have. So I just wanted to finish things off here with one set of dips. Usually dips fuck me up, man. They fuck my sternum up, but this grip was fantastic. So I found facing the other way and then having the uh, dip bars on like an angle and a little bit wider, it works really well for me. So this didn't hurt my sternum at all. So I just went for one set to failure about 20 reps here so this was really good man this really fried my upper body pushing structure and then all the compounds were done took a little bit of rest and then i went into to, to the rest of the isolation movement so i had some tricep rope push downs some people are going to think you're a bit of a cocksucker if you take both of the uh the ropes but you know no one was using them so i said fuck it and took both of them what that does gives you a little bit of an extra range of motion so you hit the triceps a little bit harder compared to just using one rope so I just did two sets of 12 here. So for every exercise that's not the big compounds, I just do straight sets across, that works best. No need to do the max intensity, you know, reverse pyramid style, top set, back off set style. With the smaller exercises, no point. So now this was the seated leg curl, it went into two sets of 12 to 15. As you guys can see, I completely fucked this set up because my ass was like 10 inches away from the back where it should have been. Cause I didn't know how to use it because fucking machine was super complicated. So this was a dog shit set, to be honest with you. I still, I still made it work, but this is why I don't like machines, man. It's so fucking complicated. Rather lift a, you know, heavy ass barbell, some heavy dumbbells or some shit. But this, yeah, and then, and then I ended up figuring out how to move the seat up a little bit more. So this set was a little bit better. So yeah, I think this was just 70 pounds, 75 pounds. But yeah, I would do hamstring work more, like, like, like uh, on this machine if I had access to it. But I, as I said, I trained in my basement for most of. Uh, most of the time it's nice to get out in the public gyms to film because my basement is uh, full of shit because it's at my grandma's house and my grandma kind of a hoarder has a lot of shit in the basement so she <laughs> that she doesn't want to get rid of but that she also doesn't use so you know it's a story for a different day but you know that's it is what it is so then i went into some rear delt flies here same thing just a couple sets of 20 reps now this is just the icing on top of the cake man it's just the icing on top of the cake Really where the bread and butter growth is gonna be is in this workout would be the squat, of course, the fucking king of all exercises, the incline bench, weighted chins, bit of dips, and then all of this is just to finish off the uh, muscle groups that may have not get, gotten as much attention. So same thing here, just a couple sets. So, you know, I was talking with a, a guy who follows my content, he follows my, my training philosophy, super dope guy, we go back and forth on Instagram. Uh, we were talking about how, you know, it's really the people who are open to trying different things and really open to different methods and are the people who are able to go against the status quo from what's being provided in the fitness industry that get really good results. So a lot of people look at my content and my, my philosophy and they're like, yeah, fuck bullshit. You can't train twice a week, get really good results. It's the people who, who have an open mind or willing to question the status quo who try my philosophy and they and once they once they try it they never go back because the results are the best you're, you're getting you're getting 10 times the results you'd usually get training you know five six seven days a week because you're getting strong you're focusing on what matters and you're putting in you know a fraction of the time investment so that's it man polarity fitness all the way all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that workout we had a massive workout crushed some squat pr some incline bench some weighted chin-ups the weighted chin-ups didn't go as well as i wanted them to because they didn't have the normal grip that i'm used to just the plain supinated and i couldn't use chalk so that fucked me a little bit but we fucking did dips i put a, I, I hit a set of dips and the fucking dips didn't rip my sternum apart it literally felt amazing i need to get one of those dip stations asap or get a gym membership because holy fuck those dips felt amazing usually i, I found the key to dips is to do them a little bit wider the dip station i have at my house is just way too narrow it just fucking tears my chest apart so that was that was a great workout um that was a really big workout i took about five days off training so i like to do that here and there when i'm starting to get signs of you know overuse maybe i i need a, a few extra days of rest i always say rest more than less so whenever you need extra rest take it and for me it worked out super well because you saw how easy that squat pr was for me so always rest more than less that's the key don't always think that you need to you need to be in the gym all the time taking extra rest will allow you to recover further overcompensate come back and hit big personal records so i realize now i'm going to start bringing my calories a little bit lower i'm going to start slowly cutting usually i only need about two to three months to cut so i take march april may and and cut slowly and the key with cutting is to 
really take it slow. So as I said, I can cut in two months. I could have all the excess fat gone in two months easy, but the faster you try and cut, the more muscle you're going to lose. So oftentimes it's better to take a little bit extra time and really make sure that you're maintaining your strength in the gym and maintaining your hormonal levels. So that's one of the keys with cutting. I wasn't going to cut until like April, but I realized I'm a little, little bit fluffier than I want to be right now. So I figured I'm just going to get on the cut. I've been bulking for about seven 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 and a half months seven and a half maybe even eight months at this point i was i was bulking towards the end of the summer so i've paid my dues so i'm gonna start slowly bringing the calories lower and so yeah right now i'm gonna go back to my house get a shower maybe grab a bite to eat i need to get a fucking haircut because this is just this is just getting out of hand quite frankly so we'll talk soon somebody had to peel them so it's more expensive by hand I don't know how, but they are more expensive because it's more labor. But this one more has the peel labor. on. This one has the peel on and is and is uh, cheaper. You know. You, you had shrimps without the peel. I ate it. The yes, other day. yes. They were good. Those but were good. they should they shrink they they shrink it like your dick. <laughs> So as I said, I'm bringing the calories a little bit lower. So I ended up having about 25, 2600 calories today. So for my first meal, I had some eggs, some fruits some toast. And then when I got back from the gym, I ended up having this meal that my grandma had prepared from the day before, which is some, some chicken, some venison, some boiled potatoes, some boiled carrots and some rapini. So I don't always cook. Sometimes my grandma has some good nutritious food ready. And then I just simply eyeball the calories and that works well also. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this raw workout vlog. Uh, I finished eating a couple hours ago, just been getting some work done ever since. Now I'm just going to read for a little bit and then go to sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like and subscribe if you did. Leave a comment letting me know what you thought. And then, of course, pick up my free 13-point natural muscle building checklist. If you haven't already, it's some pretty valuable shit. So we'll talk soon.